13 Reasons Why is, in some ways, a murder mystery but if you came here looking for Netflix's answer to Pretty Little Liars, or Riverdale, turn back. The series shares more DNA with my so-called life. Both series are set at Liberty High School, in that both offer a quiet analysis of teen life. Yet to really compare 13 reasons why to anything would be doing a disservice to what is one of the most special series to ever grace and flicks at its core. 13 reasons why is a study in how we treat one another. It examines the small aggressions we commit that cause unthinkable pain, and the larger ones that become even more painful when we are told we must move on from them. It's also an unflinching, realistic look on particularly challenging topics, including rape, suicide, and depression. And, I will warn you now, it's not an easy show to watch. 13 Reasons Why makes poignant points about what we owe one another as humans. But this is not the breakfast club or even perks of being a wallflower. This show is not kind even if it implores its characters to be. It is, however, very, very important especially for teens, their parents, and any authority figure who deals with either. You haven't seen teen television like this before, and it's about time it existed. Episode 1 High School can be heaven or hell depending on your perspective and social standing. Of course, it's not hard to know which one it was for Hannah Baker, Catherine Langford. When 13 Reasons Why opens, we learn that pretty, smart, vivacious Hannah killed herself weeks earlier. And Clay, Dylan Minette, her co-worker at the movie theater and longtime admirer still can't wrap his mind around it. But he's going to if the late Hannah has anything to say about it. Shortly after Hannah's strung out ex-Justin, Brandon Flynn, accuses a confused Clay of being, not so innocent, Clay receives a package in the mail from Hannah herself. Inside the package are tape tapes that tell the story of Hannah's life, or, more importantly, why she felt it had to end. Thirteen sites for each person responsible for her suicide. Listen to everything and pass it on. Hannah warns, or else a trusted individual will make the tapes go public. And that, well, that would be bad for everyone.